Morning, it's Kelly Snow. Say I just wanted to um, do the flip through on this really quick. And um, it's listed in my Etsy shop already. Um, but I, I, my mom sent me this fabric. It's really weird. And somebody gave me this paper. And so they just matched up so well. It took me um, some time to get this done because I, well, you know how you got to collect things. And so anyway, this is, I think this is Kane Company design paper, but I'm not sure. And then, and then I made this, and that's a Tim Holtz, you know, bald pin, and I glossy accented, and this is that huge rickrack, and I have some balls on the bottom, and I just love this fabric, and I did a, um, there's a whole closure there, and I put little red, white, and blue corners on it, and, um, this is, um, it's design paper, but there's chipboard in between. And this is just cotton fabric, coffee stained cotton fabric. And um, this is a photo album slash, well, it's a photo album junk journal because there's a lot of journaling spots too, but there's also a lot of photos. And I didn't count all the pages, but there's like almost 80. You know, I, I didn't count them all, <laughs> but there's almost 80. <clears throat> and um, so the beginning of it, it's kind of, this is vintage definitely style, but it's not like, and then it's kind of got a 50s vibe a little bit, but not really. So the beginning is, um, so this is just about summer fun. It's just about the states, traveling in the states right here in the beginning. And there's, um, you can see the little clear tabbies right here. These are for four by three photos. So this is photo mat. And then what I did is, um... I put big, these are big ones now, big clips at the top for anything you might want to save. And so this reminds me of just, you know how you go to grandma's or you go to the state fair or you go to, you know, visit somebody, you know, we always do little road trips in the summertime. And so I just thought it would be cute and I have the corners down there and script stamping. And then this is um, cotton fabric to reinforce the holes and it just looks cute like that. And, um, so in the beginning, you know, this is just about the road trip and, um, this is all coffee stained and I have corners and, um, this is yellow coffee stained chevron trim, um, paper. And then, um, whoops, what I got going on here? This is so hard to do. I have books stacked up and so I'm holding this around all the books right here. <laughs> so I can't quite get it right. But anyway... So, um, these are homemade journaling cards. There's a lot of these in here. And this is, um, it's, I don't have a stamper, but it's from cardboard that I inked and then, um, stamped on here for lines. And, um, so these are just, I made little, little tuck spots. They're just the different states. Nothing's just specific, just that, you know, you might've done some traveling and here's this little boat. It's kind of like a gel sticker. I don't know, but it's really neat and puffy. <laughs> and I just like this paper. And here's another. You can see the little 4x3 little photo mat. So that's for a photo. And then um, this back is... Uh, there's just a little pocket. I just flipped up the design paper there. And then I put in um, one of these old vintage envelopes with some of my coffee stain punched paper in there. To journal on. If there's not a spot to journal on, I make one, you know, for you. And so then I put the corners up and still more of the fabric and then the script stamp and some tab stamps. And, um, and this is an old 50s ad from Safeway, which I thought was really cool because, you know, when you travel around, you stop at all the stores. And so I just did a couple of tuck spots from some, some different states on it. And here's the car and the plane and it's coffee stained and script stamped. And and then here's it. Okay, so then now, so now it's like it sections off. It's kind of, it's kind of um, cool how it does this. So I put another one of those vintage envelopes in there. But So now this is like, okay, so here's how it goes for the rest of the book. The beginning I didn't do it because I didn't find this travel paper till the end. But um, so from here on out, all the design paper is sewed into a big pocket. 
and I put a big clip in, and then there's a... I have too many clips on this page. <laughs> and then I'll show you in every pocket now of these, there's a big... There's a big journaling card in it. Um, it's blank on one side and lines on the other. So that's in every one of the big pockets. And so here's where it starts to be about, you know, just going out to eat. You know how we do in the summer and we barbecue. And so this is just about, you know, the diner, good times. And so I just really liked this paper. And um, so I got some little hot doggy um, die cuts. They're like 3D though. They're like three or four different layers. And it's script stamping, and I love this polka dot paper, so I just leave it. But there's four by three little tabbies right here for a photo mat on every one of these design papers. And then I leave like three or four pages for journaling. And um, this is the a and in the 50s, you know, what it looked like. And it goes up here, and the hot dogs. And I put a guest check with hot dogs and mustard and ketchup. You know, I love to take my kids out to eat. Um, you know, at A and W, and we go in and have floats, and <laughs> we still do that, you know. And so here's an old '50s A and W menu, which is all coffee stained up. And these are what I'm using for your journaling spots. If there's not a spot, then you can use these for your journaling spots. And um, there's some die cuts down there of corn dogs and soda pop. And then the, I did do all the red, white, and blue. These are vintage, um, I think they're called New Ace Photo Corners, but I put them on all the paper. And um, so then here's another design paper, and um, it's got a 4 by 3 spot. And then here's some lemonade, and this right here is a little tucky spot, so I put this little camera back here so you would know you could tuck something in there. And then this one was extra, so I just made a little little side pocket with a card instead of doing the top, you know, all the way around. I just did it on the side. And then here's another one of the old vintage envelopes. And then these ones, I just did the black die cut for little tabbies right here. And then here's the red, white, and blue. And there's a different fabric and the script stamping and coffee staining. And so there's a couple pages of that with the little tabbies. And then um, this is cute, Rip Beer, and I made a um, journaling card out of the coordinating. And this is now, um, you can see the little, little tabs, and here's the clip, and then here's the journaling card on the inside. It's a big homemade one. And then... Um, So now this is where we're going to get into some, you know, Hollywood movie stars, popcorn. I love here, 4x3 photo mat. I put a little ticket tabby for the journaling spot. I love to take my kids to the movies in the summer. And some of the movies are impactful. I mean, when Star Wars came out or, you know, all those old movies like um, <laughs> uh, Mommy Dearest. That was like one of my first horror movies I ever seen, you know. But, um, anyway, so, um, here's a concession stand belly band, and here's a little card with coordinating paper, and, um, this one I put in 3D Barbie glasses and Hollywood star ticket, and here's Marilyn Monroe. She was on the screens in the 50s, and, and then this is, um, the Jolly Time Popcorn paper journaling spot. You can use that to journal on, too. And I just like this paper. I just think it's cute. It's got the little tickets there. And then this side I put um, Liz Taylor. These can all be removed. In case a person isn't into the 50s like that in the stars, I just made the tags in relevance to that era, not really the book so much, you know what I mean? And then this I found at a swap meet. It's, um, you know, the old popcorn box, and it's got the little tabbies you can see for the photo. 
And then on the back of this one, I made a, um, well, it's just a little popcorn box with, this used to be on the movie theater drive through and I made a little spot here. And we have some old 50s candy, journaling cards, and we got, who's that, James Dean? Is that who that is? I think it's James Dean. It reminds me of my dad. Oh, my God. And we have some dots. These are all journaling cards. And then this one is huge. It comes out. And um, I think that's all that's in there, but it's an awful big. Oh, there's more stuff. Pop rocks. <laughs> so... It's just cute. 50s candy and stars and places to write. And um, so this is decoupage napkin and black die cut and still the same corners and the fabric, coffee stain paper, and then um, some layering. I had some of that fabric and chocolate and some bling. And this is lace and thread and just layering of different things and then this I love I had this old stamp of people watching a projector movie so I had it project Shirley Temple and I love Shirley Temple and she had the best some of the best movies oh my goodness and then here's some more die cuts of the popcorn which is really cool I love this and it's real thick and um, you can put it's like a tucky spot you know you can put something back there so it's quite big so that's really cool and then here a new and then the pin and then the journaling cards on the inside I mean if I have to show them all to you I will but they're all in here they're big big cards and the photo mats on this paper and then on this now this section is all about ice cream and so I love to take my kids and go have ice cream and we I like to take them to like the buffets where they have, you know, all the stuff and the toppings. <laughs> but the fudge sickles are my favorite because um, they're really old and my, they're my mom's favorite. And so I made some fudge sickle journaling cards. And um, these bags I found at a swap meet. These are, you know, the original crinkled bags from, and they have, um, you know, this old stuff on the back, how you could turn the bags in and get little prizes, you know, or whatever, and it's just cute. And I looked the bags up, and some of them are worth, you know, anywhere between 3 and $12, depending what kind, and I have several. So I didn't want to attach them because I thought maybe, I don't know, you might want to sell it or it might go up in value, and I don't know if it's stuck to the book. It's not going to do you any good, right? So, and then I have another one on this side. It's the deluxe one, and I can't remember how much this one was worth, but whatever but anyway so then I made the other kind of fudgesicle which I love these <laughs> this is so cute I just love it <laughs> I am um, I just love fudgesicles I still do and so I found some little mm, die cuts actually I got in a swap with someone um, so that was really fun because she knew I was doing this and so those are really cute. And then I got one on this side too, just little popsicle tabbies and ice cream little tabbies. They're just cute, you know. And then this one, um, it's a die cut tab. And then it has um, old dishes of what we used to put our ice cream in, you know, from the 50s. The old dishes. And this one has a big cone on the bottom. And then this one now is, I'm getting into the more of the layering. And um, it's about toys and the fun games that we played and um so you can see there's tabs here for the photos and then I just have the protractor and lace and the Yahtzee scoreboard and dice and this is from um it's a um table runner and I loved the design on there and I got a little bling and so um that's how this section is kind of going. And we have some more of the polka dots, which goes all the way through, which I love. And um, the photo mats here, you can see the little shiny things. And then this one is um, just all the layering. And there's several pockets. There's a fabric muslin pocket here. And I did some altered cards. Did I glue this in? Oh, no. 
and we'll see if I can get it out. <laughs> Sometimes we do this. Oh, here. Oh, I got it. Okay. Well, I glued that ribbon on. There we go. <laughs> I glued that green ribbon on. Okay. So these are altered playing cards since this section is all about games, kind of. And so we have the bingo paper and, like, here's some more of that fabric and bling. And this is um a lace flower and some more trim. And this is a muslin pocket. And this I coffee stained. Um, you've seen them before if you watch my journals. And this was from... These little pieces were from um, that estate sale that came in that sewing stuff that I got. And... And here's the other one. This one's cute, too. It, and this gesso on here, so you can write on all that. And then here's a big card in the back. It's just a journaling card in the back. And then, um, on this side, I inked, it's blue, ink from the protractor. And then I just made a little tuck spot up here and, um, Parcheesi. Um, journaling card. I love Parcheesi. <laughs> uh, and I have the red, white, and blue tabs up there. So there's quite a few journaling spots and photo spots. Here's another little tuck spot with another card. This one, um, this came from that, um, that sale too, that trim right there. And then this was really cool. This came from that vintage shop too. It's a puppet show. And I left it open in case you don't like the puppets. You could put a picture in there. But there's these four little paper puppets. They're just like the paper dolls, only, you know, they're puppets. So I just think they're really cool. And it's all, you know, vintage. I don't know. It's just neat. <laughs> and I really like it. And then this, I like this page because it just opens up and it's journaling spot. And it has all the remembrances of... Of everything, you know, the Yahtzee boards, it's the same, you know, and the blue fabric and the bling and different trims and dice. And then I have some um, stuff up here from the other side peeking through. Bingo, and this is, I think, yellow elastic and some bling and some trim, script stamping, and then this is... Um, another section and it has the clip and the big card on the inside and um, the little 4x3 little photo mat parts and this one has a little fabric tab if you can see and then I like this page because it has all these little all these little coins on it and they all are like these little different little things it's just cool and then this tab is her sleeping you know, um, I like to take naps in the summertime. <laughs> you know what I mean? Out in your yard and you kind of fall asleep. I don't know. It's just fun. And then um, I just made a little tuck spot here about candy. And then here's a little pocket with a... Oh, my nails. My nails! Little journaling card. Rick Rack and... <laughs> and um, happy time side tuck with a card, a journaling card sewn on coffee stained paper I love that too And a little, you can see all the little red and white and blue corners there and then this is about the day when we go to the beach I know we're going to go to the beach in one time in the summer at least once so I had an old bottle and some sand and a bucket and glasses and um, it is a little tucky spot right there it does um with something but I don't have anything here to tuck in there to show you and then this is um, for out in the lawn I love to sit out in the lawn and just suntan and sit around and you know write stuff and then um, I don't know if you guys remember but boy when I was a kid we used to walk down to the corner store and it was Rexall drugs and we would get candy so I put in um, a bit of honeys that was our favorite and um, I got some Rexall drug old newspaper ad for journaling spot. <laughs> and then the back is the same fabric there with the hole. And then it has um, 
see now these fabric little pieces there you can kind of fuss with them a little bit when you're done and then it has the bike and stuff on the back and little these are little little coin things so it's just really cute and it's listed in my shop and um, I have another one of these coming up it's a deconstructed book but um, and it's the same theme but it's a book so it's and it's smaller and you can't get as fat because of the rings but it's still really cute so um, I'll be showing that one in a couple of days so um, thanks for watching and um, I did want to tell you guys that um, I'm starting to take in um, people's old stuff to make custom books I've had a couple of people now send me all their old doilies and all their old photos and their old stuff and I'm making books for them so I just want to mention that um, I know when my grandma's died I, both of my grandma's died now and you know you end up with all that stuff and it's like sometimes you don't know what to do with it so it's fun to put it in a book so anyway thanks for watching bye